Hello Warsaw fans and welcome back to Saddlers TV where today we're joined by centre-back John Guthrie. We'll be talking all things Warsaw and what it's like to be part of a positive changing room. Thanks for joining us today John. Sorry. I think a good place for us to start really it was a bit like what we started with with George uh, in the last episode we'd had a, a good couple of results and for yourself it'll be back to back clean sheets now in the league I think it's the first time we've done that since mm. March 2017 um, how important and how impressive is it for you to be able to keep back to back clean sheets yeah very um, it's something that sort of plays on a defender's mind um, obviously we probably hadn't kept enough uh, clean sheets so far in the season um, it's something we had spoke about uh, with the gaffer and as players um, so now I'm delighted to get the back-to-back -back clean sheets and hopefully that continues. I think something that's helped uh, that cause with the two clean sheets back-to-back -back in the league is the fact that the relationship with you guys at the back, Nicky, Luke, Jack, uh, Robbo, all there now, you're a, a settled back line. How important is it for you to be part of that and why is it clicking so well this season? Yeah, it's very important. Um, obviously, the more you play with each other, the uh, better you know their game, you know their weeks and strengths. Um, obviously, us... Well, sort of five, even from last season, we've played quite a few games uh, together now. So, um, you know, we're starting to really get to know each other well. Um, and yeah, it is important, just, it's just the, the close-knitness and the togetherness of us all, um, it helps. Um, and, you know, it's nice to see it actually shown on the pitch. And as you said, with back-to-back -back clean sheets. Um, and yeah, hopefully that just carries on throughout the rest of the season. I think something that you, you touch upon there is the relationships in the mm. team. Something that was said yesterday after the game was that there is relationships in the team, it's, but it's not just about individual relationships are going off in pairs or little groups. It is a team relationship, and I think that's what's helped us so far this season go to where we are. I mean, we're in the playoffs at the moment, so obviously it's working in the training ground and on the pitch. Definitely, yeah. Um, as a squad, uh, it's probably the closest squad I've played in, uh, been involved in. Um, you know, uh, everyone's you know very close and it's a everyone gets on well. Obviously, if someone, something needs to be said to someone. Um, It'll be said, but you know that all stays on the pitch um, and off the pitch. Uh, you know it's just important. You, we all have a good laugh in the training ground. We all go into training and look forward to it, um, and that sort of goes on onto the pitch. Um, you know, the, the closer you are off the pitch, it sort of helps on the pitch because you're all together. You all want to do well for each other. If someone makes a mistake, you want to be the one that gets your mate out uh, out of trouble. So it's good. I think it was Kane Wilson who said it after the, the Middlesbrough win, was that you are willing to bail teammates mm. out and I think it shows as a defence this year if Jack makes a mistake or you make a mistake either full back will be there to cover you or your centre back partner will be there to cover you and I think is that something that was worked on during pre-season and then at the start of the season because it is so evident to see that you are fighting for each other. Yeah definitely it's something uh, you know the management staff uh, you know bang on to us about um, ever since we've come in for pre-season they've been about you know getting your mate out of trouble I mean mistakes are going to happen in football uh, any standard you play out that's going to happen it's just about recovering well and um, helping your team out like you said um, obviously like you said if I make the mistake Jack's there if not Robbo gets us out of trouble um, but you know, you know you're not going to be successful individually you're only going to do that as a team um, so that's something we've really tried to work on this season and we talk about Robbo they say he'll get you out of trouble he's a fantastic keeper and when mm. he's been called into action so far this season he, He's done so well. One side that springs to mind is when we were at Oxford and there was a header mm. a couple of yards out and he tipped it over the bar or the one at Bristol Rovers in the 92nd minute where yeah. he tips it onto the post. How reassuring is it for you as a back four to know that you've got a goalkeeper like that behind you? Yeah, very. It's, it's nice to know, you know you've not got to worry about your keeper um, at the end of the day. You know, if, like I said, if, if we have made a mistake or their striker get a chance or they create something that you've got... Robert nine times out of ten, he's going to save it. Um, you know, unless it's something. Unstuck. There's some goals you can't just can't do anything about. But um, you know, if uh, you know Robert's got a chance to save it, more than likely he'll get there and get us out of trouble and save it. And you've got him behind you, but in front of you, you've got six other players who have built up a, uh, another good relationship. George Dobson again, he's leading the team forward with, mm. with Skipper out at the moment. The two wingers, uh, whether it's Josh and Zelly or Josh and Kieran or whatever the way around, and then the two guys up front, uh, Andy Cook, Morgan Ferrier, and then Josh Gordon when he's brought in. It's nice to know that you've got reassurances up the other end of the pitch as well, really, isn't it? No, exactly. I, mean, I think we've looked uh, a lot more threatening this season. Um, we look like we've got goals in us. They've dried up for those two games, as I said, where we got two blanks. But um, we know we're going to create stuff this year. You look at the 
our players, you know, we've got quite attacking players who want to get forward, they want to create stuff. Uh, they get the fans on the edge of their seats, especially the wingers. Um, having said that, they, they work back as just as hard, you know. You sort of say, oh, well done to defence if we get a clean sheet, but that starts right over the strikers, the wingers. Um, it's all down to the team, um, sort of the same with the creativity. You look at um, the midfield and the full-backs, you know, they, they help out uh, going forward and back. Um, so, you, you know, you look at the team going forward and defensively and it, it's looking promising. Everyone sort of seems to be chipping in somehow. And you say about the, the wingers that are willing to work back. It was after the Shrewsbury game where it was a nil-nil and mm. Josh Ginelli had a couple of chances that he, he even said after the game that he felt he should have done better. But when Luke goes forward down that, that left wing, you, he always knows that, that Josh is going to work back. And I think that's something that the manager's put into the players this season that they will have to work back it doesn't matter where they are on the pitch and I think that, that again as a defence that's that's good for you to know isn't it yeah it's massive um, you know it makes our job a lot easier if you know everyone else around us is sort of helping out um, as you said our, our full backs they do like to get on so um, our wingers whoever's playing uh, they know they're going to have to put in a shift you know defensively as well as going forward um, which they always, they always do you know the amount of times they're making blocks or tackles that you see them at the back post and they're clearing balls away for wingers it's a uh, really helpful especially to defenders like us um, so yeah it's something that you know the gaffers instilled into us as a squad and everyone seems to be buying into it and you can tell he's saying putting a shift in there when the players come off the pitch and you, mm. you go into the dressing room after everybody is flat out because they have left everything out on the pitch and I think that's something that that Dean has always said with the team so far this season that he wants the players to give the town a team to be proud of and I think that that showed so far this season hasn't it? Yeah we like to think so I, mean, I think if you ask the majority of the fans they can see we're giving it our everything um, there's going to be games where you know we're not at our best uh, there'll be games where you know things aren't going our way but um, Gaffer says you know as long as you put in 100% every game can't ask for more than that because um, you know there, there's going to be games where you sort of need to grind out the games you're not playing your best sort of the, the Bristol game um, you know we've played better than that um, we had still had chances to win the game, but um, we sort of just dug in, kept kept uh, working hard. We knew the clean sheet would be important again, because, like I said, we knew we'd probably get one or two more chances, um, and it came along, and luckily enough, Kieran was there to put it in. And you, we talk about Dean there. Uh, he's got some fantastic staff behind him as mm -hmm. well, and he's so far proved to be a, a fantastic manager for us. Just how important is it that his philosophy is coming over to you guys as players that you're then able to take what he's saying out onto the pitch. Yeah, it's big. Um, obviously, he came in last season, but probably a bit harder to do that during a season, especially the position we're in. Um, so uh, particularly this sort of pre-season and onwards, he's really been able to, you know, get his rules and what he wants us from us as a team, the style we want to play. Uh, you know, as I said, the working hard. Um, we've all bought into it. Um, obviously, if you don't, you're not going to be playing. Everyone wants to be playing in the team, so everyone they wants to buy into what he's telling us to do. And I, I think, you know, People watching us can hopefully see that. You know, we are there. We want to win games. We're, we're doing well at the moment. Um, as I said, working hard. But at the end of the day, you can just see how much it, it means to us as players as well. You know, the two losses we've had, they they really hurt us. We've wanted to bounce back straight away, and luckily we've been able to do that. And you talk about the wins there. Nine wins already this season. Uh, last year you played every minute for, for the mm. Saddlers, and I think it was a case where we won 14 last season. So mm. you were only six games off it equaling that that uh, the win ratio of last year mm. just what do you think's changed this year compared compared to last year when you were here um uh, it's probably it's quite hard to you know when you're playing it's quite hard to put an actual finger on it i think it's just um i think mentality might have changed a bit this season um you know getting off to the good start i think that was really important for us um you know getting those home and away wins in early sort of takes the pressure off um you a bit and i think the mentality of us as a squad uh, it's, a, it's a lot more, you know, we're going into games thinking, right, we're, we're going to win this. Um, we're confident going into every game. Um, and I think it's just, uh, sort of, yeah, as I said, just the mentality of us all. Um, we're, we are all there. And we know we're, we're going to get chances just about, particularly as a, a back four, just keeping solid at the back. And you talk about the mentality there. Nicky Devlin said a couple of weeks back that, and you mentioned it a minute ago, how the two defeats have hurt you mm. this season. Nicky said that last year it was almost a case of if we lose, oh, it's an acceptance. But this year, th there isn't that acceptance. No, it's a, you need no. to rectify it straight away. And, and we have done so far this season. Yeah, when exactly. I mean, obviously, when we went on our unbeaten run, um, we were going to lose a game at some point. But it was important to sort of 
have that moment, see how we react. Um, obviously, especially the way the Doncaster game went, where we really let ourselves down as a team, really weren't good enough. Um, to then go to Oxford, a uh, game away from home, and to pick three points up straight away uh, showed, you know, we weren't just going to sort of let those losses happen. Um, and sort of the same after Accrington to bounce back with a four points from the next two games and then obviously another win last night I think that shows you know the strength of us as a team and as well everyone involved the whole squad um, that we're not going to accept stuff like that because at the end of the day every, every footballer wants to be successful um, so it's important that we buy, we buy into that and you know we, we go confident into games. And we touched upon earlier the, the uh, win ratio so far this season uh, and a big factor for that and a big factor to the good start we've had is the away form, mm. um, eight games unbeaten now on the road. Is that something that obviously you're going to want to continue? And, and the lads have been talking about it quite a lot, haven't they? Yeah, no, we have. You know, we enjoy. We've always we enjoyed playing at home, but um, you know, there's some sometimes you, you don't fancy going out to away games, but um, couldn't be any different this year. You know, we're going into every away game as a, looking at the form. We we know we're going to be in with a chance. Um, we do speak about keeping that run going. I mean. At the end, of the, probably at some point in the season, you, you were going to lose away from home. Um, but as I said, it's just bouncing back like we already have. Um, but no, I think we, you know, we've got so much pace in our team away from home. It sort of suits um, the style we play, um, and you know the results have backed that up really. And you say about a bounce back mentality that there's also the resilience there for, mm. for when you are away from home. Like you've just said, you do have that pace on the wings you've got that mm. pace from Morgan's a fantastic yeah. out ball Josh when he plays is a, a good out ball Cookie's there to hold it up as well for you when you're there to, to set yourselves when I think we saw it at Oxford as well when mm. and Josh played in Zelly for that goal it was something that was was different is it I wouldn't say easier but uh, better for you to adapt to away games when you have that style that you can play because home teams will come on to you a bit more yeah, and possibly, the resilience yeah, is possibly, there possibly yeah um, yeah, poss possibly. It's, it's something that, you know, we, we know is going to happen. Away from home, we're probably not going to have as much possession as we do at home. Um, so, you know, we we hard to beat. We uh, don't want to be breaking down. And I said, we've got the pace, especially if, you know, when Zelly gets going, he's, he's, <laughs> he's hard to stop. Um, and as you said, we've got you know, the different type of players. As you said, you've got the cookie who can hold it up. Uh, he bullies defenders. And then Morgan, he's, he's just a pain to play against. Um, so I think on the counter attack, particularly, uh, you know, when teams are sort of coming at us and when we break, because we know we've been. For the majority of the season, we've been solid. Um, obviously, taking the Doncaster game out of it, um, so we know that you know once once we, we break the teams down, we get those guys going forward. Um, they're going to create something more than likely. And obviously, Dean's been a massive influence on the team so far this season. You can really see his philosophy in it. You're one of the so-called older players yeah. in the team. I mean, you're what 26, 26 is it? Yeah. And you're classed as one of the older players in there. Does he give you guys as the older bunch, you, Ozzy, uh, Skip, who's in there mm. as well, that extra bit of responsibility because you're... Yeah, I think, he, to be fair, he expects it from everyone, really. Um, you say we're a young team, but uh, you know these young players have played a lot of games now. We've got Dobbo, our captain at 20, um, so that just shows the leadership of him. So uh, every, everyone's buying into it. Um, you've got a lot of leaders out there this season. I think that's something that's probably improved this season compared to last as well, at the talk inside of the communication. Um, just making our lives e easier for each other. Um, but obviously the, the older players are expected to sort of help out the young lads when, once they're coming through to the game. Obviously I've got Jack next to me. Um, he's a good talker anyway. But you know, just giving him the little bit extra to help him along the way um, is going to be good for his development as well. And something that's been banded about quite a bit on social media so far is the, the term dreamers. Are you, are you one of those this <laughs> yeah, year? Yeah, of course. Yeah, we're all dreamers. Yeah, I can't think who started that, to be fair. Um, it sort of just happened. Uh, nice little hashtag to go along with. Uh, it just sums up the togetherness of the squad. Everyone's sort of turned into a bit of a joke, but uh, it's good to have it there. Well, that's all we've got time for today. We'd like to thank John for coming down, and I'm sure his words will, will entertain the Saddlers fans. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time where we'll have a, another player for you.